The Denver Broncos are in a lot of trouble for their decision to bench Russell Wilson. Now, the benching was a really cutthroat decision. They benched him not because of his on-the-field play, like Sean Payton tried to say in his press conference saying that we just need to spark on offense. Let's be honest, bro. Like, Russell Wilson isn't bad enough where he should be holding the clipboard and the Gatorade on the sideline. He may not be that good, but he's still a serviceable quarterback. And Jared Stidham, he didn't look like anything special in the win against the Chargers. But with this benching of Russell Wilson, they could be facing some legal action from the NFL and the Players Association because they threatened Russell Wilson after they beat the Kansas City Chiefs a month ago that if he didn't redo his injury guarantee, he was going to lose his starting job. And the New York Post, or the Washington Post, excuse me, they reported that the NFL Players Association told the Denver Broncos in an early November letter that the team's threat to bench quarterback Russell Wilson if he did not agree to adjust his contract was illegal and violated his collective bargaining agreement with the NFL. Now, what this letter entailed was that this is from a console to the NFL's Player Association, NFLPA, and Russell Wilson, it has come to our attention that the Denver Broncos recently informed Mr. Wilson and his certified contract advisor that if Mr. Wilson would not ne renegotiate his player contract to relinquish certain salary guarantees, the Broncos will remove him from the starting lineup. If the Broncos follow through on this club's threat, the club will violate, among other things, the collective bargaining agreement, Mr. Wilson's contract and New York law and we are particularly concerned that the Broncos are still intending to commit these violations under the guise of coaching decisions accordingly we write to notify you that the NFLPA and Mr. Wilson reasonably anticipate arbitration or litigation against the Broncos and the management console triggering your respective obligations to preserve potentially relevant documents. So basically, the Denver Broncos, what they did, benching Russell Wilson due to them trying to threaten him to redo his contract was illegal, and they could face a lot of bad ramifications because of it, and they deserve this. Now, I agree that Russell Wilson should have been benched, okay? Like, you want to see what Jared Stidham has, if anything. He hasn't really been that great. Fuck what the stats say. But the reasoning for him being benched wasn't really due to his play on the field. It was due to financial reasons. And the Denver Broncos, they followed through with their threat that they made to him after that Kansas City Chiefs game. And they're going to be facing legal action. We don't know what the penalty is going to be. Maybe they lose their first round pick, which is going to be a big blow to them because they don't have really a lot of draft capital anyway. And with the way that their roster looks, they possibly could have used that draft pick to trade for other assets and to continue to build that team up. And not just is this going to potentially result in them maybe losing a draft pick, but you know there may be some fines and it's also going to hurt their ability to get free agents. Because if I'm a player and I'm a star wide receiver or cornerback, why the hell would I want to go play for an organization that's going to bench me if I'm struggling and all of a sudden they want me to redo my contract because I'm not playing well? Like, you can say what you want about Denver's decision to bench Russell Wilson when it comes to his play, but one thing that you can't deny is that this decision was really cutthroat. You should never bench a dude because of his contract. You don't want him to get injured. That's kind of a little bit morally unjust. You see, if this decision didn't come down to Denver trying to force Russell Wilson to redo his contract and it was just solely based on his play on the field, I would be okay with it. But when you try to blackmail somebody, their job and their starting status because you want them to redo their contract, that's fucked up. That's not what football is about. It's a business, but at the same time, you have to be able to operate within certain moral guidelines. And at the same time, it's not Russell Wilson's, you know, job to help you out and redo his contract. You're the one who paid him. If I'm Russell Wilson, I would have stood 10 toes down like him and I wouldn't have redid my contract. What you mean? Like, I ain't giving up any bit of this money. You're going to keep on paying me these checks and you're going to keep backing up that Brinks truck to my front door every single week because you're the one who gave me this contract. I didn't come up with this contract. I didn't force y'all to sign me. Y'all gave me this money. 
And now that I'm not playing that well, you want me to relinquish it? Now, of course, from the Broncos' standpoint, which doesn't make any sense, you know, you come up to him, you say you're not playing well. Help us out, bro. Take a pay cut. If you're Russell Wilson, you're saying, fuck that, man. Get out of my face. I ain't taking no pay cut. I'm taking every single penny y'all give me, and y'all going to have to bench me if that's the case, and I'm still going to be collecting checks. Like, the Broncos look foolish in this situation, bitching the dude all because they threatened him, thinking that them forcing him to take a pay cut was going to just fly with the Players Association. That's not how this thing works. There are rules and regulations that you have to follow, and what the Broncos did was not right. And people are making Sean Payton not to be the enemy in this situation. I don't believe Sean Payton was the dude who came up to Russell Wilson. It's like, hey, bro, you need to take the pay cut because Sean Payton isn't the general manager. If anything, it was the people on the higher ups above Sean Payton who probably approached Russell Wilson with this decision. Now, of course, Sean Payton may have had a little bit of say in the matter. We know that Sean Payton doesn't like Russell Wilson and he wants to move on from this dude as quick as possible. So, of course, he was like, hey, bro, like, we might have to bench this dude, and the Broncos probably came to him, and they're like, hey, bro, like, redo your injury guarantees. Now, if he would have did his, if he would have redid his injury guarantees, he probably would have remained the starter, which is why this benching wasn't all about player performance. We get it that Russell Wilson hasn't played that great, but this benching wasn't based on performance like how Sean Payton and the Denver Brass tried to make it out to be, and we knew it was bullshit. Like, Russell Wilson hasn't been great but he hasn't been one of the worst quarterbacks in the NFL and all those stats don't justify how great a player is he's been serviceable for Denver he gives Denver a better chance at winning games than what Jared Stidham is they played the Chargers in their offense didn't even score 20 points against what has been one of the worst defenses in the National Football League so I hope that the NFL And the NFLPA really dropped their hammer down on Denver for how they did Russell Wilson like I said I don't disagree with the benching from a player performance standpoint but I disagree with the Denver Broncos how they went about this benching him and trying to blackmail this dude to redo his contract all because you fucked up and you made a bad decision this is Denver's fault that they're in this mess not Russell Wilson entirely yeah Russell Wilson hasn't played up to the level of his contract this dude is the fifth highest paid quarterback in the NFL and he's getting more money than Matthew Stafford And he hasn't been anywhere as good as what Matthew Stafford has been. But it's not his fault that he got this contract. Of course, you're not going to turn down money. And you're definitely not going to give any money back. Somebody give you $2 million at your job and you don't do a good job at it. And your boss comes at you and says, hey, you need to take a pay cut or we're just going to fire you. You're going to say, bro, just go ahead and fire me. Like, you already don't pay me. I'm not finna give you no money back. Like, what would I look giving money back trying to help you out especially this amount of money 45 million dollars 30 something million and guarantees you crazy like what was Denver thinking did Denver really think this was going to fly like truthfully they knew the rules they they knew what could have come from this like this was an idiotic decision by an already idiotic franchise now hiring Sean Payton was a good move. I still stand by that. There were people calling me a Sean Payton dick rider. Well, I'm not a dick rider. I'm just telling you the truth. Sean Payton has a winning record with every quarterback that he's coached, not named Drew Brees. The dude went 9-8 his final season in NOLA with several different quarterbacks. Taysom Hill, Jameis Winston, and Trevor Simeon. So it's like Russell Wilson isn't playing that good, but you shouldn't bench dudes due to business. If you're going to bench somebody, bench somebody strictly due to the play on the field. Keep it within the lines. Keep it on the field. This was a business decision, and I don't agree with this. You see, like, I agree with benching Russell Wilson because he didn't play bad, but I disagree with benching him because your dude, you did it for financial reasons. And that's not right, and I hope the NFL gives the Broncos what the hell they deserve.